Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MT Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to disable incognito mode in Google Chrome. So if you want to disable people from accessing incognito mode, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it, and we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Let's go on the Start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that, and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now, before you do anything in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if you ever had to go back to the previous state, you can. So in order to create a backup, you just would left click on the file tab, left click on export. I'd recommend selecting export range to all, and then save it to a convenient location on your desktop after naming the file name something relevant, preferably probably the date in which you're creating the backup and then just click on save. If you were to go back from the backup copy, you just do file import. So then you just would locate the file. So pretty straightforward. So once you've done that, you want to go expand the HK local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand it. And then you want to do the same thing for the software folder. Now you want to right click on the policies folder, left click on new, and then left click on key. You want to call this key Google, so exactly it appears on my screen, so G-O-O-G-L-E. Click out of it in order to save it. Once you've created that key, now you want to go over, now that you've done that, now you want to right click on the Google folder, left click on new, and then left click on key. We want to create a key directly underneath Google here, and we're going to call it Chrome. So we're just going to delete where it says new key number one, we're just going to call it Chrome. Hit enter. It's very important you spell it exactly, it appears on my screen here. So once you have Google and then Chrome, now on the right side, while we are underneath the Chrome folder, and you can see the path up at the top of our screen here, you want to make sure it matches what it shows on your end. You want to right click on a blank area on the right side, left click on new, and then left click on D word 32 bit value. It's very important you type this in correctly, and it would be called incognito, so I-N-C-O-G-N-I-T-O mode, so capital M, and then lowercase o-d-e, and then type in availability, so a-v-a-i-l-a-b-i-l-i-t-y, so again, incognito mode availability, the i in incognito, the m in mode, and the a in availability should all be capitalized, and you want to make sure you're spelling everything correctly, that is critical, if you're not spelling things correctly, this is not going to work for you, you probably won't do anything, you know, honestly, worst case scenario, but you still want to spell it correctly if you want this tutorial to work for you. So then just click out of it in order to save the D word value we've created. Now you want to double click on this new incognito mode availability that we created. You want to change the value data to one, so delete the zero in here. Type the number one on your keyboard. Don't spell it out, just type number one. Make sure base is hexadecimal. So type the number one in the value data field. Make sure base is set to hexadecimal. Click on OK. Close out of here. Restart your computer and you should be good to go. So thank you guys for watching. Do I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.